Brett Kaczynski here at Geyer Community Center with the Dalian Lowry and uh, of LCC Radio 89.7 WLNZ. And we're here for the 12th annual cardboard sled and just a great day to be out whether you have the sled in the show or not. I know for me and my family, we came up here to nip and sip, sure. had a little food and then uh, come on over and take a look at the sleds. But I know you're gonna be going around to interview these folks. Tell a little bit about um, how this has developed over the years and uh, what the event is all about. Well, basically, I mean, first of all, the, the event itself, you know, it isn't just a, a, it's not really a competition. It's just more of a thing to get out, enjoy the, the, the snow that we usually have, have a good time in it. And I think it's great because it just, you can tell, like when you see these sleds, you can see that friends and family, they've all come together to build these different creations. And I mean, when we first got this started 12 years ago, I don't think we had more than 20, but we've had years where we've gotten up to 60 sleds and they've just gone more and more insane with the uh, things that they've come up with. And definitely one of those things, I kind of compare it a little bit to Scrap Fest, where you see people take just playing cardboard and make a masterpiece out of it. Just like in Scrap Fest, they go to the pile of junk, pull some things together, and all of a sudden you have beautiful art. Some of these are functional, some of them are more artistic, and you really see the uh, the design process that people go through. Oh yeah, when you go around and you talk to the, the sledders, a lot of times they'll tell you about how it was built and everything else. And yeah, that's that's the other thing about this event is it's, it's not just a sledding competition. I mean, this is art. I mean, it really is art. And the concepts, like I said, they're different every year. We've had everything from giant squids to Star Wars themed things, to, uh, Bacon, eggs. bacon and eggs, eggs. One year, that was one of my favorites, actually. Yes. So. So I know uh, Dedalian is going around to uh, interview some of these folks and see some of the work behind it and all that they put into it. But thank you once again for um, WLNZ coming on and being a part of this, and we look forward to many more years to come. Sure, we're gonna do it again and again. All right. So we're hanging out with Don here with the Steampunk Dragonfly. This is phenomenal. You have done a great job with this. I could definitely tell the Steampunk theme right away. So tell me, what's the inspiration for this? Uh, I was thinking Iron Butterfly and uh, went on the internet and was looking up Iron Butterfly and I'd never really seen Steampunk before and I thought, well, that's pretty cool. And I've always wanted to do a, a dragon head. So hey, put a dragon on a dragon head on a dragonfly. Well, that makes sense. Okay, so now are we talking Iron Butterfly the band? Yeah, yeah. You know, I, was, I had that song going through my head, and hey, that might be a good, that might be a good sled. Well, this is really cool. How long did it take you to make this? Uh, I've got probably about uh, around 100 hours. Put about 100 hours into this. Uh, you know, the painting itself. Did you end up using airbrushes or anything like that at all? Uh, just a uh, can, can of spray paint. Best wipeout. Here I come. All right, there we go. All right, so we're hanging out with Caleb Reynolds now. He's got probably what I've, this is the first time I've ever seen this type of sled. I mean, this is like a different concept. First of all, what's the sled called? Um, creative Creature Creator Contraption. That's the first title, there's a second one. I don't remember it off the top of my head, unfortunately. That's all right, the first one was a mouthful in itself. So tell me, what's the concept behind this? Because you're kind of explaining how you can move things around on this sled. Yeah, it's uh, kind of interesting. Um, so my dad originally wanted to do a Lego sled, didn't work out, so we did this, kind of like a little little puzzle thingy. Okay. So basically, we've got different sides to each thing, and it can it can create different sleds, basically. Yeah, or like different designs on the sides, and the front is the title, and yeah. You even got like a Mad Libs thing here where you can even change the words around, huh? Yeah. Very cool. Well, I appreciate you talking to us about your sled. Nice job. I hope you win something there. Yep, probably will. Right. Too. Good luck. All right, so now I'm hanging out with Fred. Thank Fred's you. created, what, what exactly is the name of your sled? Team Fred Racing. Team Fred Racing. And this is actually one of those rare sleds that have actually made it more than one year. How many years has this been? It's the third year for the sled. Third year, slick design, seems to be very sturdy. I, I'm not going to ask you the inspiration because obviously racing is the inspiration. Yeah. But what have you done to kind of change it up each year to make it more efficient? 
Well, I've, oh, not really more efficient, but just uh, 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 the looks, the looks. New pinstriping, new decals, new headlamps, new wheels, um, new paint. Um, that's about it, but the structure is the same. One way or the other, you've made it up to three years. I wish we had a chance to race it this year, but hopefully we will. We'll see. We'll find out. The first year, it did make it down the hill, like look at these split, right? And last year, of course, it was okay. It's a great event. doesn't matter if it's snow or not, really. I know. It's a lot of fun, isn't it? It's a blast to see all this stuff and look at all this crazy stuff, right? Well, Fred, we appreciate having you here as a part of it. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Thank you. Now I'm talking with Yurik and Yapanga, and they have got the coolest carrot I think I've ever seen in my life. So Yurik, tell me a little bit about this. What, why, why did you guys decide to build a carrot? Um, I don't. Um, no, I just, ha I just appeared up in my head a carrot, and yeah, my mom came up with the ideas with the bunnies. I just uh, wanted to build a cool sled, and I. I want, and I decided carrot, and yeah, apparently we did the vote for you, and you not the vote for your own sled, and then apparently, um, um, apparently we, no one, there was, everyone was a tie. Well, you guys did a great job. We did a dice thingy with a computer with a phone and then it landed on the carrot. Well, very cool. You know what the best part about this sled is? Not only can you sled in it, but I can eat it too. So I'm gonna... Oh, it's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we're hanging out with Ray and Hannah. Ray and Hannah, I mean, you guys automatically close to my heart already. It's Star Wars, you can't go wrong. What's the inspiration here? Uh, well, inspiration was Anna. She uh, went to uh, wanted to be a stormtrooper for Halloween. Okay. So she wanted to look at pictures of stormtroopers and the New Order stormtroopers. So I'm flipping through pictures on my phone of stormtroopers, and one came up that was just a helmet, the side view, and I saw the chin sweep up, and I went, "That would make a great sled." So she was excited about it. So. To do it. All right, Hannah, so what do you think? Did it take longer than you thought it would take? Yes. <laughs> Any idea how long it took? Um, like, a good, it was... 100 hours, I would say. Yeah. About 100 hours or so? And uh, you guys did a phenomenal job. You also had a little help on this one, right? Uh, yes, uh, my 16-year-old daughter, uh, Allison, she did some of the artwork, and uh, she helped out a lot, too, with painting. All right. Well, I love Star Wars, so you got, you know, it's like I said, you're in my heart already. So. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and thanks for being a part of it, too. Are you, Are you ready? ready? Set. Go! And as always, making the way down the hill, heading towards the finish line, almost there. Push, pull, and drag. Push, pull, and drag. Get out of the thing. Take the swan across there. Make the swan go. Run it across. Run, run, run. <laughs> almost there. Coming, Coming up, up next, next, I believe, I believe we've, we've got, got number, number 135. 135. That is Deadpool. Deadpool. Uh, using, the using the old, old butter, butter spray. spray yeah. Yeah. All right, timers, are you ready? Are you ready? Racers, Racers, are you ready? Ready, ready. 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 set. set. Go! Deadpool, Deadpool will make his way down the hill. He's off. Oh, good. Feel, Feel free, free to push, push or drag. Use your, your stick. Do what you got to do. Make it again across that line. Deadpool still making his way. He's off the mark a little bit, but he's back in. He's back in. He's going he's gonna to beat the sled down there. 
Oh, take a little bit of a turn, heading for the finish line. He's going to hit the pole. He's almost there. He is. Hey! Nicely done, Deadpool. Dead, dead All right, so what's the, uh, what's the official, what's the official sled, sled name for this one? Beep, beep, beep racer, racer, number 133. Is my uh, timers ready? Racers, ready? ready. Yep. All right, ready, ready set, set, go! go, 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 go. Thank you, he's got a little bit of a stuck. <laughs> beep, 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 stop, stop it. it. Push, Push polar, polar drag, yes, yes there, there you go. go. Make, Make the, the sled, sled go again. Go. Oh, yeah, yeah, take it as far that easy, and that's a little extra yeah. help there. That was a nice beep, beep, beep move. Yeah. And he's carrying the beep, beep across, he's there! Are my, oh, my timers, timers ready? ready. Uh, is my, my racers, racers ready? Ready, ready, ready set, set, go! He's making his way, way down, down the hill. hill. Batman and Robin. Almost there, almost there. He's pushed, pull and drag. Sometimes the Batman will be able to be slow, I show. All right, coming up next, we've got Stormtrooper on the way. All right, All right racers, racers, ready? Ready, ready, ready set, set, go! <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I, I don't know how to go. We're giving it the Rocky theme. Push, pull, and drag. They can get across that finish line. Woo! Took, took, took me all the way to the finish line just to get there. there. All right. Coming, Coming up next, next we, we got, got the Grinch with the toboggan. Are right, my timers ready for this one? Okay. Good. Let me know when the racers are ready. Yeah, that's going to fly. All right, the Grinch ready. All right, ready, set, go! The mean one is making his way down. He's heading right for the finish line. He's gonna hit it, oh! He takes out the sign. Coming up next, we have got uh, the Beta Carrot. Beta Carrot. It's actually got a team number still, 124. Our racers are officially in their sled. Ready, set, go! Beta Karen is cruising his way down. It's making his way down. It's the fastest Karen in all time land. Uh, push, pull, or drag. They can get across that finish line. Push, pull, or drag. Go, go, go. Push, pull, or drag. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Give it a push, there you go. Give it a push, give it a push. Beta Karen's making his way to the finish line. It's almost there, it's there, it's there, it's there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, please give a big warm round of applause for my good friend Dedalian Lowry here, doing an amazing job over here putting this together. However, we're going to have a little bit of a twist today. So, Dedalian Lowry has made some sleds before, but he's never sled down the hill. So what do you think? Can we get Dedalian in the LCC Coffee Break sled? All right, my wonderful wife will hold his papers for him. We'll see if he can sneak his head inside. Unfortunately, our sledders had to go to Girl Scout camp this weekend, so they're not here. So today, we're going to give him to poke his head out of the LCC coffee break. Now I need some strong guys. If I can get some strong guys to help Day. He had no idea he was going to be doing this today. All right, get your head on. All right, hold on. Now, timers. <laughs> Now, now you're, you're ready with the ambulance, ambulance down, down there, there right, Dustin, Dustin, just in case? case. All right. All right, here we go. On, on the count of three, three everybody help me out. One, two, three, go, Dustin! Woo! Ladies and 
gentlemen. So I believe our uh, timers are tailing the time. So just there should be a few moments. They'll be up here, and we'll have the official fastest sled time in just a few moments. All right, so here we go. This is what we got. Uh, first of all, going uh, for the uh, fastest time for 14 and under, going to Beep Beep Racer in at 21.3 se uh, seconds. Where's Beep Beep Racer? Come on. Grab your certificate. Congratulations. All right, the Big Beat Coffee Break actually was the fastest sled. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and pass it on to the next one, which was the Grinch at 7.8 seconds. The mean one. And don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Best wipeout going to the mean one. Take it up the finish line. Congratulations. Thanks, everybody. Now let's all go get warm.